Hello there guys, welcome back to my Pokemon Ash Grey. In the last episode we did an event I was looking forward to so much and we did it in like half an hour in the entire episode. But this team that we're currently still rocking with, we have our Snorlax, Bulbasaur, Pidgeotto, Pikachu, Charizard and Squirrel. And I'm gonna rearrange them a little bit so I have a little 50 in front. Okay, I don't know why but I thought my sound glitched out for a moment. So I've been asked by my mother to go to the Xnorfix lab. No, it's fuck that, fuck that. I'm just gonna trans transport myself. Fucking, I'm gonna take the warp system. Now that I finally have the fucking warp system, might as well use it to my heart's content. Gradient. So it should be this thing. Yes. Harry Potter, what are you doing here? My name is Potter and I walk in this nursery. A lot of trainers visit because their grass type Pokemon love it. Feel free to come and visit, especially if you have a grass Pokemon. Well, I have a Bulbasaur. A lot of trainers visit Xanadu because their grass Pokemon love it. Feel free to let your Pokemon explore the nursery. This thing. The second guess that this is a rare plant one. Something's wrong with it. Bulbasaur? Stop! Don't smell that plant! That's a poison barb. It's badly poisons anyone who smells it. Quickly bring your Pokemon into my house. Into your house? Oh shit, he, he is actually... Wait, who's poisoned? Only Bulbasaur, okay. Oh, it was a gloom. My gloom can help you help clear, cure your Pokemon's poison. Gloom, gloom. Mmm, yes, feed him that nectar. Wait. Oh, no, oh, never mind, never mind. Seems very appreciative of Gloom's help. Like, I was thinking, is this why Bulbasaur is addicted to nectar of himself? But then I remember, no, that was Heracross who always went for Bulbasaur. It's a good thing it's been tending the poison barb in the nursery for so long. It's built up a strong resistance to it and developed a natural antidote. The Xanadu's nursery has been in my family for generations and now they need me to run it. But I'm a big failure at raising Pokemon, I can't even help my Gloom evolve into Vileplume. If I can't do that, how will I ever be able to run a huge nursery? I even bought a leaf stone from a guy who wore his hair kind of long and a girl with big hair and a meow that knew how to talk. Huh? You say those three are from Team Rocket, known Pokemon thieves? Then the leaf stone must be a fake, no wonder Gloom didn't evolve. But then, I was wondering, do you think... Wait, do you think you would battle my gloom so I could test how strong it really is? We'll see what kind of trainer I am. Well, I guess I'm just gonna mollow up this gloom level 55. Okay, that's not what I expected. Let's just quickly body this thing. Look, I don't give a shit that you have solar beam. There we go. Ash, before you came, I didn't think I could do very much eventing. But you helped me believe in myself. I will feel ready to run this nursery for my family if one special guy is here. There to share it with me. And I only hope Potter feels the same way about me that I do about... Okay, this is turning into Twilight. Fertilizer, yes. Please take this free of charge. That's thanks for your help. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Wait, my mother didn't give me any money. She expected me to pay it by myself. Wow. Go, go, go touch her. Go touch her. She, she's waiting for you in that room. Anyway, I should be able to get back here easily. Hmm, might not be as easy as I thought it would be. Oh wait, no, no, I am able to skip, okay. Shit. I am able to skip, I said. And then I just run into everything. Yo, I'm here with the fertilizer. Oh, I thank you for picking up the fertilizer. Yes, I want to use it to plant the berries in front of the yards. I'll be thinking them often, so feel free to stop and see how they're growing. When they're ripe, I'll pick some for you. And that was everything that happened. Let's actually talk to Professor Oak. Since I'm here and I'm, uh, I'm about to leave to like the left side of, of uh, Viridian. Ash, I was just thinking how fun I was of getting off your Pokemon. I wouldn't mind if you... Oh, no, this, this shit again. No, thank you. Hmm. 
Nope. Actually, I still need to catch the Tauros. Wait, no, I have a... No, wait. Do I have a Tauros? I actually do not know if I know if I have a Tauros or not. Let's actually do, just warp to... I believe I have a Tauros. Do I not? Yes, I do have a Tauros and I do have a Muck. Nope, nothing has happened. I always talk to the phones just in case a fucking dialogue pops up. Because you would easily just miss that. Anyway, let's go to here right now. Because this is where we should go. Hey. What is this? Route 18. Is that a trainer? Yes, it is. Excuse me, are you a Pokemon trainer too? I'm looking for a good battle. Why don't we skip the small talk and get right into the fun? Yes, I'll go pack some condoms and you can loop up uh, or what, uh, whatever the fuck. And I do not like this matchup. Uh, go Snorlax. Earthquake. You might carry Brick Break, but you can't do shit with it. That did actually did a good amount. That was so thrilling. Spielbunk. Cut, cut, cut. Fabulous. I love it. Spielbunk, Spielbunk. Now we'll talk a, cra a crane shot, moving down on our battle scene. That's the money shot. Listen, I've been conducting a talent search for some fresh new faces to appear in my latest film. What? No, not humans. Um, but I'm only using Pokemon in my next production. I need a Pokemon to co-star with the leading... Oh, Psyduck! Oh wow, my voice. I need a drink. I remember this. Leading female Wigglytuff. If you'd like to ad audition your Pokemon, meet me at the stage up ahead. I do not remember what I'm supposed to audition here. Excuse me. Ah, oh, what the fuck? That actually hurt my lung. What? Oh, that hurt like motherfucker. Can I go in here? The fuck? This bitch just moved. Oh, you're a fucking trainer? Okay, um, Hydro Pump. I'm not leaving you, motherfucker. He's actually hoping for me to leave. Oh. Wait, did that just say Genghis Khan? Oh, goodness gracious. Ooh, Leech Sheet. Yo, can you not evade? This fucking bullshit. Oh shit, I actually thought I... Shit. What I actually... I did not think that I would outspeed, but I just thought like, let's get, just get this fucking killed and I'll switch into something else. But no, I actually lived the fucking pick. <laughs> okay. Do not ask me how, do not ask me why, but I'm brighter than a blue blue sky. Thank you. Okay, wait, did, did Squirrel actually reach level 51? Yeah, he did. Let's switch him with Pidgeotto. Okay, now, what did Ash... The Pikachu. He he probably put his Pikachu up for, like, the leading role. The film I'm working is one. It's got Pokemon in love. I need a new lead to pair with uh, Wigglytuff since Abra teleported off the set. But it has to meet with Wigglytuff's more tough than Wiggly standard. Let's see if the Pokemon has what it takes. I'm sorry, but the Pokemon is, is such a charisma to start in this picture. The Pidgeotto just doesn't seem to... Look, I have every Pokemon that I had.
Um, let's see, I've tried these two. Let's put this guy. Nope, not Bulbasaur. Uh, Squirtle. Squirtle is charismatic. Probably a Squirtle, right? Come on, how can a Squirtle not be fitting? Snorlax then. Like, he can play the fat... The fat man. Hmm. I'd like still three more Pokemon nearby. My PC. Wait, please do not tell me. Are there Psyducks in this water? Magikarp. Like, I know what the Pokemon is. Are there like only match cups here? I think I'm, I might not be able to do this event. Cause... It seems that I need to find myself a Psyduck. And I, for the matter of fact, do not carry a Psyduck with me. Well, I do not, I do not even have a Psyduck. But I have like three more Pokemon in my box that I can try. So let's... It's probably not going to be Krabby because Krabby was like with Professor Oak until... One battle? In the league? Wait! Shnox has been holding a fucking Lucky Egg the entire time? How was I not paying attention to that? You know, it has to be one of these three. Otherwise, I really need to go catch a Psyduck somewhere, but... I don't feel like doing that. Mm. It's probably not a Tauros, because Tauros didn't even get to do anything until the... Uh, um, the Islands? Nah, it's not my Pokemon. I, I need to catch a Psyduck somewhere for this. And I'm not going out of my way to actually catch a Psyduck, because I still not have a Psyduck. Like, that's my problem here. I should not have a Psyduck. So I'm not going to go out of my way, because otherwise Misty would have to appear right here, right now, and give it her Psyduck to him. Just for the protection, if that is at least what I think it is. But there seems there's like more behind it, so... Let's go over there then. I can remember that part in the anime. Now, what is this going to be? Okay, so far, I have like no idea what this is going to be. Like, this has to be another event, because this has been implemented into the game while it shouldn't be in the game. There's a house. Hey, Grandma! I reckon climbing through these mountains can tucker a young one out. How about taking... Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There's, like, nothing here. Let's go inside. Oh. Oh, hi, kid. Um, yes, I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. So you came to these mountains because you heard I was up here training, huh? Want to know the secret of training Pokemon? I'll tell you if you follow me. Wait, where the fuck are you even going? Oh. See, you want to learn the secret of Pokemon. Truth is, there is no secret to the real reason I came up to the mountain hideway. Was to capture the giant onyx that was spotted here. It's no secret that you have to b capture strong Pokemon to become a strong Pokemon trainer like me. <laughs> I don't know why, but when the fucking other came up, I just remembered the fucking... What was it? Like the whale? Like the walrus from um, 
Pingu. Like when he just came up. Eh. I tried Onyx. It's attacking in fury. Wait, it's gonna attack me? Well, fuck you. I'm gonna kill you. Like, I have no interest in this thing. Bulbasaur. Seed bomb. Seed bomb. He actually left that. Kick it rain. Onyx, tell me, why are you acting this way? He just went through the mountain. Onyx, there's no reason to fear me. Now please, let me know what you're feeling. Ah, I see. What's this? A sense like stuck between Onyx's crevices? I have no idea what a crevice is. I would, how would I think it would be like between two rocks? You should be fine now, Onyx. What do you think, Onyx? You want to come along with me? Pokeball, go. <laughs> if you want to know the secret, the secret to Pokemon, then you mustn't promise. And you must promise me to not keep it secret. If there really is a secret, it's only this. Humans and Pokemon must live and work and share this world together. And they must carry for, care for each other, just like you and your Pokemon. I look forward to the, the day when we face each other in battle. Ash, be well. Did they actually ever face each other? You know, I'm gonna have a look at that mountain, actually. Cause... He didn't let me go through it in the first time. Route 18. Where is this actually gonna... Brock? Hey, Ash! I was just passing through Mountain Hideway to test my strength against some of the powerful Onyx that are here. So how about it? Let's have a rematch to see who's a stronger trainer. Um, before we do that, let me actually put bulbs right in front. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I should have actually just kept it like it was. Well, this is not really going to be a problem, I guess. Subat, dead. Vulpix. Ooh. Dead. G dude. Dead. And Onyx. Dead. What? You've really gone a strong rash. Thanks for your sparing session. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. And he just le leaves, okay. Oh, now what is this? By age 6, Eve was already an expert in ancient Pokemon civilization. Her research revolutions the field. She got her PhD at 8 and wrote her best-selling book on her theories of Pokeballs at the age of 9. Our little Eve is archaeology 7. Hello there, please don't mind us. We're architects and we believe that these ruins are the once lost city of Pokemopolis. Pokemopolis was an ancient city that built temples to honor Pokemon. The entire city was destroyed during a storm. We're hoping to find evidence in these ruins that proves that this is the location of the last the lost city of Pokemopolis. Pokemopolis? What event is this? Wait, actually let me put someone else than Bulbasaur in front. Pidgeotto. I'm actually a little bit confused. Let's start with, with left, I guess. An old Pokemon... Pokemon... <laughs> Statue of an ancient Jigglypuff. I could probably destroy these things and get items. Okay, not much there. Yes, give me all of the items. Okay, this place is actually empty, so I expect something to come from one of these things. <gasps> I finally found it, the first material proof of the lost city of Pokemopolis. The tablet I uncovered sta states, beware the two great powers of destruction. The shadow of the dark device will grapple with the pris prisoner of the unearthly urn. The sacred city will be no more as they 
he swallowed up by night, darker still for you when they return to lay waste the world. But no human knows the secret to soothe the power, powers and guide them back to the shadow world. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? It's one of the toughest mysteries I've ever had to solve. Perhaps this artifact will help me uncover the mystery of what became of Mo Pokemopolis. Well, there are still like two more things here, so... Let me just quickly take everything that there is here. Thank you. What? No. Is it the event that I think it is? No. So that's the Pokemon. Oh. I know what event this is. Max Repel. Okay, and now I need to find a fucking... A Waterstone. Now I need to get uh, Alexam to appear. Somehow. I think I just... Yep, I just did. There's strange markings all over its body. Could be the lost ancient Pokemon from the past. What? Such Pokemon are fighting with each other. If they keep this up, they'll destroy the entire mountain and all and any nearby town. I just being warped. Meow, yeah, where are we? Are we exploring the ruins and then suddenly we were trapped in here? What is this place? Like I know how to I know how the episode went. So I kind of got an ID. Okay, so this doesn't need to work. Like I was like, might be like a Pokeball. So, but so since there was a Jigglypuff statue in here. Oh, Jigglypuff! Hello. A Jigglypuff. Maybe its slumber song can stop the quarreling each Pokemon. Wait, but how do I make her big then? Like, I know it was a giant Jigglypuff. But this Jigglypuff can't really do much. Except maybe for make me fall asleep. Cause the fighting... Wait, what? She, he, but she's supposed to become big! The Pokemon returned to their ancient Pokeballs. Oh, okay, they're still here. Thank you for your help on certain... I'm getting this check of them. Ooh, fossil. Yo, are you gonna give me your one then? Oh, th this, this, this bitch just keeps going on about her Eve, his Eve being absolutely amazing. I'm gonna guess that's it for this place. Okay, I I'm positive that there's, there's gonna be something in one of these rocks. Never mind. Oh, maybe it's the rock that I skipped. Never mind. Huh. Still, I would I would love to do this fucking event, but I do not have a Psyduck. Well, I believe it was a Psyduck. Wait, are my Pokemon even healed? They're they're actually all healed. Okay, so no need to go back. That's good. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, oh, Gawi. Well, if it isn't Ashy Boy, still like mine, huh? You probably didn't, didn't, don't even have enough badges to qualify for the Pokemon League yet. Why don't you just give up and go home? There's no way you could beat me anyway. The, the League Championship hasn't started yet, but my Pokemon are more than strong enough to handle Victory Road. Besides, I could use the warm up before the League begins. See you later, Ash. But it hasn't started yet. I believe there was a moment when I had to talk to Professor Oak for this. Is that now? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I know a little bit about the ending. But that's about it. And it seems you need to talk to, like, Professor Oak before you're able to enter the league. And I'm not sure if I've done that or not.
Ook. Well, it's too late for pointers, man. If you're not ready for the Pokemon League, now you should quit and go home. But if you want to compete, I suggest you leave right now. Now get going, Ash, and remember, no matter what, I'll wait to your best. Is that all I have to do? He's not even taking my Pokemon anymore. I will make you proud, Professor Oak. Just you watch me. I'm not your worthless son. I mean, grandson. Uh, no. Let's warp. No, I want to warp to Viridian. I haven't really done that much in this episode. To be honest, I didn't really do that much. But next up is a Pokemon. It's Victory Road, and then we're at the Pokemon League. Oh. Huh? Forgive me for startling you. I was simply testing you. You appear to be traveling to the Pokemon League competition. Uh, yes, you are. Well then, I, Otoshi, challenge you. I've trained for a long time, all alone here in the mountains, but I seek one last battle to test my strength before the Pokemon League. If you accept my challenge, then you must agree that whoever loses this battle must turn over all his Pokemon badges to the ones who triumphs. Uh, okay. So then, let us battle. I think I said okay. Because this guy is only a Mar Marowak, which is going to be easily defeated. That was great. Hydro pump. I'm faster than you. Okay. Oh no, my strongest Pokemon. I am sorry. But I have no badges to give you. Please let me explain. My eight badges have been taken from me. I battled my way from one gym to the next with Marowak at my side. It was a difficult journey, but we, we struggled and battled and never lost hope. We finally won 8 badges and were on our way to the Pokemon League. As we were coming out of the mountains towards the Indigo Plateau, we were intercepted by a trap and had our badges stolen. Our dream was stolen by talking me off. What is Marowak? You, you don't want to be my Pokemon any longer? Please don't go Marowak. Well, that, that's just sad. Without these badges, Marowak will never return to my side. If only I could track down those thieves. Thieves, 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 yeah, they're, they're probably like a little bit further away. Yep, here they are. When we weren't looking, Jesse took off with our stolen badges. We're being honest for once. We don't have the badges. What are you two doing here? You stole from your own teammates, Jesse. You disgrace a disgraceful Team Rocket. My moment in the spotlight is over. We can steal more badges and be rottener as a team than as individuals. Alright, as long as I'm the rottenest. Hmm. So you want the badges back? If you want them back, you'll have to challenge us to a Pokemon battle. Okay, bitch. I'll just do what I always do. Like, how many times has this been? How many fucking times? Okay, you actually start off with a victory ball. That's good. That's good. That's one down. Wheezing. Let's go. Pikachu. Arbok. Uh... Snorlax. Earthquake. And a Licky Tongue. Let's go send out Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur might gain level from this. Sleep Powder. Leech Seeds. And Seed Bomb. He woke up. Let me put you back to sleep. And this, people, is why I hate grass types. Yes, now everybody's level 51. No, I chance. No, 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 no. I shipped in the stolen badges from Team Rocket. Team Rocket. What? We lost the badges of the Battle of the Badges, but we'll be back. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Yo. Hey. Hey, I got your badges. My badges, you retrieved them from those bandits for me. And here comes Marowak like it's fucking nothing. Marowak, thank you for returning. We battled by my side in Pokemon League. Ash, Marowak. Ash, Marowak, Marowak and I are back together. Thanks to you. We'll be forever in your depth. Now our dream of competing in the Pokemon League will come true. Here, take the item as a token of our PC. Take club. Ooh, that's kind of, that's kind of tech. 
I always hurry on our journey to the Pokemon League. Perhaps you show me that you dare. Yeah, not really. Well, at least I don't think so. I'm not sure, actually. Actually, this would be a good time to actually end the episode. Victory Road can be done in the next episode. That sounds about right. Victory Road in the next episode. Just like it should be. Because we did do a lot of events in this episode, to be honest. But I'll see you guys in the next episode when we continue our journey and go through Victory Road. But until then, bye.